Ever had that eerie moment where you stop and wonder, what if none of this is actually real? The stars, the ground beneath your feet, even your own thoughts. What if it's all running on something, like we're inside a program, not just the universe? It sounds crazy, but the deeper scientists dig into physics, the more reality starts to glitch. Particles that exist and don't exist at the same time. Matter that only appears when we look at it. It's like the universe is rendering itself, waiting for you to press play. Back in 2003, philosopher Nick Bostrom dropped a theory that broke the internet. If any civilization ever becomes advanced enough to simulate an entire universe, then statistically, we're almost certainly living inside one. Need an example? Think of games like No Man's Sky. Billions of planets, each unique, all generated by algorithms. Now scale that up, not on a console, but on a cosmic supercomputer. Every atom, every storm, every heartbeat, part of a simulation so complex, it feels real. Here's where it gets strange. The universe doesn't just look organized, it behaves like math. From galaxies to atoms, the same patterns repeat. Nature uses the same equations everywhere. Spirals, ratios, symmetry. It's like there's a hidden algorithm running in the background. Ever notice how lightning bolts look like river deltas? Or neurons like galaxies? That's not coincidence. That's code consistency. In the quantum world, particles exist in multiple states until we observe them. Only when measured do they choose where to be. It's as if the universe needs awareness to finish loading the scene. It's like a video game conserving energy, only rendering what's in your field of view. That's not sci-fi. That's how quantum physics actually behaves. Physicist John Wheeler once said, it from bit, meaning everything that exists might come from pure yes or no information. Quantum information theory now backs this up. Every particle acts like a data point in the cosmic network. So maybe you aren't made of matter. Maybe you're made of information. Think about AI systems. They learn, adapt, evolve. But they're made of code. If consciousness can emerge from data once, why not at a universal scale? What if reality isn't simulated by machines, but by consciousness itself? Quantum physics tells us the observer changes the observed. Every thought you have might be shaping the version of the universe you see, like a dream that responds to your awareness. Have you ever experienced deja vu, that flicker of, I've seen this before? Maybe it's not memory. Maybe it's the system re-rendering reality for a second. Fractals, spirals, ratios, everything from hurricanes to galaxies, follows the same design. Even the way data clusters on the internet mirrors star maps in the cosmos. It's almost like the universe is copying its own signature over and over. Every time scientists look closer, they find another layer beneath it. Atoms, quarks, quantum fields, strings, data, and then maybe another simulation. It's like mirrors facing mirrors, endless reflections of existence. Maybe there's no final level. Maybe reality is the loop. So if we are in a simulation, maybe the goal isn't to escape, but to wake up inside it. To realize every atom, every star, every heartbeat is part of the same awareness. Maybe we're not trapped in the dream. Maybe we're the ones creating it, 
line by line, thought by thought. So, what do you think? Are we living in a cosmic simulation or in a quantum dream that's learning to dream itself awake? Either way, the fact that we can ask the question means the code is working perfectly.